Okay, it's like this. You can count the number of grids, 100 from the left to the right, okay? And then only one grid in J direction, and then 20 grids in, yeah, the this one, the K direction. You can use this one, pen reservoir, to move around the model. And you can also use this one, rotate reservoir, if you want to rotate. Okay, so you see our grids are currently blank. We need to populate the grids with data. Okay, so from here, I click this again. Okay, we go to specify property, this one, specify property. Okay, now we will have many properties that we can input our data into, okay? The first is grid top. And you see the second is grid thickness and then porosity, permeability I direction, permeability J direction. If you scroll to the right, you can see many, many parameters there. You can also open this drop down menu and select the properties that you want. Okay, so, all right, we will start from grid top. Okay, I will select whole grid. Okay, so this will represent the whole grid, the numbers that I will input. Okay, it will represent the whole grid. All right, and let's say, sorry, for the whole grid, I will use for other properties. For the grid top, I will put my grid top, the values in layer one. So let's say, the grid top is at 1,200 in meters depth. Okay, so this is the depth at the top, the depth of our top reservoir. And let's say grid thickness, it's let's say five meters. And I put in whole grid, so all layers will have the same grid thickness of five meters. And let's say porosity, I want to have a homogeneous model, for example, 0 0.12. Okay, the porosity, 0 0.12. And then we go to the next property. I will put again in the whole grid to make the model homogeneous. Permeability in I direction, 100. Permeability in j direction also 100 let's make it simple okay and then permeability in k direction for example the same 100 of course it's not usual because usually permeability in k direction is much lower much smaller than horizontal permeability okay permeability in k direction by the way is vertical permeability usually as a rule of thumb it's 10 percent of the horizontal permeability Permeability, horizontal permeability is permeability I and or permeability G. Usually we use the same value for permeability in I and J direction and we call them horizontal permeability. Permeability in K direction is a vertical permeability. Usually it's only a fraction of horizontal permeability. If you don't have data, you can use a simple number, a magic number, a rule of thumb maybe. 10% of the horizontal permeability. But we will start simple, start homogeneous model. So I will maintain 100 for each of permeability I, J, and K direction. Okay. And from, from that, we will not input values for net pay and others. So from here, we click OK and it's some confirmation, sort of confirmation, block corner value calculation. So these are the six properties that we have populated the data. So from here, yeah, refine blocks, interpolate from contour map, yes, we select the default settings, click OK. All right, now our grids have values. Now our grids 
have properties. And currently we are looking at grid thickness. We can also check other parameters that we have populated the data into the model. And you can find the model, you can find the properties by looking at this ball, okay? The ball means we have data there, like grid top, something like this, grid thickness, you can select, okay? The value is the same, five, and then you can also show porosity, okay? 0 0.1, homogeneous, right? Okay, we are looking at now the JK view. Okay, JK view. Now it's IK view. Okay, or IJ view. I think it's IK view, yeah. Or actually, we can also check this one, IJ, IK, and then JK, or 3D. Okay, and then, yeah, we can move like this. 